about girls and women in Afghanistan who've remained behind. I was in the street with 500 people, completely, you know, scared and horrified, running in different directions. And then on that moment, I saw Taliban's vehicle with white flags just in my street. That was a moment of, uh, you know, that was, I'm a movie director. That was a very unreal, unreal moment for me. And I was just, I remember I was just standing in the street and while everyone was running, trying to go home, I was just watching this. And I, I said to myself, like, this couldn't be real, you know, and then. But the problem there, it was not Taliban, because Taliban, they actually wanted to put order. Uh, you know, they wanted to make a queue out of this crazy, um, not controllable uh, crowd. But, uh, but it was impossible, of course. The, the, the enemy was crowd, because everyone was pushing from all direction. And, you know, like when we were at the third checkpoint, Taliban, uh, Taliban took out 11 corpses just because these people, they were smashed under the crowd. And I was so scared for my father, because he had heart problem. And then for my nephew, who was four years, so we had to carry him all the time. What is important for me now, it is to, to, to interview, to use the press, you know, to, to talk to anyone, to, 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 to just speak whenever I, I, have the, I have the possibility to speak and to push governments to not approve Taliban government. Because now Afghanistan is in this situation, you know, and, and I think the entire world gonna regret this later in future, you know, and because, because the international community, they left Afghanistan alone in 90s. And Afghanistan become the home of terrorists, you know, and this will will, will happen again. And I Physiquement, moralement, ils étaient complètement écroulés parce que. L'histoire des talibans. Ensuite, se trouver dans un pays qu'on ne connaît rien, qu'on ne parle pas la langue, on ne on connaît pas la société. Du coup, ils étaient complètement écroulés. Et d'autant plus qu'ils ont encore les membres de leur famille dans le pays, toujours bloqués sous la menace des talibans. Ce que je voyais dans leurs yeux, dans, du coup, sur leur visage.